Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about thromboxin. So what comes in your mind when you hear the term thromboxin? Thrombosis, right? Or blood clotting. And this is correct. Because thromboxin is named so because of its role in clot formation. Thromboxin is a member of the family of derived lipids, which are actually eicosanoid uh, derivatives. So that means they are derived from the arachidonic acid. So arachidonic acid can get converted to thromboxin A2 or thromboxin B2. And the key enzyme that is helping in this process is known as thromboxin A synthase. Both the thromboxin types are characterized by their six membered ether containing cyclic rings. This is a characteristic chemical feature of thromboxins. Now let's talk about how thromboxin is synthesized inside the cell. So thromboxin is synthesized in the platelets. On the platelet membrane there would be phospholipase and this would generate arachidonic acid. Now arachidonic acid would be converted initially to prostaglandin H2 with the help of cyclooxygenase. Later on prostaglandin H2 can be converted to either prostacycline or it can be converted to thromboxin A2 with the help of thromboxin A synthase. So prostaglandin H2 formation is a key node step. Now let me remind you that thromboxin A synthase enzyme is exclusively present in the platelet membrane. So obviously platelet is the site for thromboxin production. Thromboxin, once generated, can bind to thromboxin receptors present in wide variety of cells, for example, blood vessels. And thromboxin ultimately leads to G-protein mediated signaling, which elevates calcium level in the cytoplasm. Now, once calcium level is elevated, it helps in clot formation or eventually in vasoconstriction. So, one of the major function of thromboxin is to perform vasoconstriction. Now let me remind you at this point that thromboxin and prostacycline has opposite role. Prostacycline has a vasodilatory role whereas thromboxin has vasoconstriction role. Now it is believed that vasoconstriction caused by thromboxin could be the underlying cause of prismetals and genia or any kind of cardiac inflammatory disease, one of the leading role could be played by thromboxins. Now let me tell you that in your diet, if you have sufficient amount of omega-3 fatty acids, then the thromboxin that is generated would be different. So if you have too much of omega-3 fatty acids, then thromboxin A3 is generated instead of A2. While A2 is a potent vasoconstrictor, a3 is less potent and that is why the vasoconstriction mediated aberrant effects are less if your diet contains omega-3 fatty acid. If you want to know more about omega-3 fatty acids and its health benefit, click on the link in the i button. Now let me tell you, vasoconstriction effect of thromboxin could be a feature of many diseases such as cardiac diseases like ischemia, reperfusion disease and also hepatic inflammation and acute hepatotoxicity. Underlying all these diseases, it is believed that thromboxin is playing a key role in this pathophysiology. Now thromboxin inhibitors are really important to treat these kind of diseases and you can understand at a molecular level where thromboxin inhibitors could potentially work. First of all, it can work at cyclooxygenase level. So by blocking cyclooxygenase specific um, <coughs> substances such as aspirin can block the production of thromboxin. Other than that, thromboxin selective uh, synthesis inhibitor can also inhibit thromboxin A synthase, the rate limiting step of thromboxin biosynthesis process. And there could be other inhibitors which are antagonist of thromboxin receptor which prevents thromboxin A2 to bind to their receptor and thereby prevent thromboxin signaling. So these are few ways by which thromboxin can be controlled or the effect of thromboxin could be moderated. So I hope this video was informative enough. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support me on Patreon. And if you want to access my core, core uh, 
course in Unacademy, you can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. And do let me know in the comment how you like my video because your comment give me so much of motivation and so that I can make more videos. Thank you. See you in the next video.